What's up everybody, I am 8BitVic. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome here for the first time, and welcome to Valheim as well. Hey, there's a couple updates and things I want to talk about, our world, um, a current playthrough in Valheim, and uh, one of the main things I want to talk about right at this very moment is this little fucker right here. The Jacko Turnips. They brought these things to the game. They're amazing. They basically work like a light source. They're super easy to make. It's basically just four pieces of turnip and two resin, and uh, you know, be in the vicinity of a workbench, and there you go. They work really cool. I like them. I already put a couple around our entire village. But the other thing I want to talk about is this building I'm in. I talked in my last video, I believe, or my last stream, I can't remember, about making a potion shop. And, uh, you know, it's just for, for looks and just to make it. I thought it looked cool. So, uh, so I did. I think it looks pretty neat. And um, all I do is uh, fill up those chests you saw in there with potions so that whenever we're getting ready to head out, we stop by, stock up on potions and, uh, and take off. And in the back side of the potion shop, I have an employees only entrance. Because uh, since we make our potions in here in the forge, um, you know, we got stuff going on here. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. Of course it's gonna rain as soon as I start a video. Why the fuck not? I try to keep these chests full of uh, pre-made potions, excuse me, pre-made meads, like the base meads. Just toss them into the fermenters and then whenever they're done, come over here using the employees only entrance and uh you know when there's no customers looking just pop up on the counter for now oh or the jacko turn up i should say and uh fill these chests up what else did i want to talk about i was playing off camera exploring around in the mountains just trying to see what i can find uh hunting for wolves and trying to see if i can find some of those infamous onion seeds and I actually came across a silver vein so um, we started mining some silver a little bit before we were supposed to so I now have a silver shield and I made a um the jogger fang bow that's what it was I was gonna do the sword but the sword is fucking 40 pieces of silver I did not get that much silver yesterday Diablo and I destroyed finally the bone mass trying to get health trying to oh, keep the goddamn occupied. blobs Man, they're hitting me hard. I need to back off. Yeah, back off, dude. Did you? Did you? Uh, claim oh your no, bed? my poison. I'm gonna die. Did you claim I'm your bed die. over here? Nope, I didn't. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Bro, Gosh, dude, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you're good. Everybody's focusing on me right now. You're good. There it is. Get it, do what you gotta do. I killed just all about right. all the mobs, so it's just me and him right now. So we got the wishbone, so I haven't even got to start using this thing, but this is what you're supposed to use to find silver. That helped us a lot in a, li a little bit in the fight against the bone mass. You know, really you should be using a blunt uh, weapon when fighting against them, but I like the swords and I wasn't gonna spend the extra time getting iron just to make an iron mace to fight the bone mass. So uh, we just dealt with that the way we did. Last time I shared a video, I had a little pen right here that I had Fred, uh, the boar that we finally tamed. Fred, that's what we named him. Fred loves me. Here you go, Fred. Oh, he ate it. Fred just disappeared. I had no idea what he did. What happened to him? He didn't die. There wasn't any meat or leather scraps in his, you know, in the in the pen. I have no idea what happened to him. So after waiting for two days, leaving the game and coming back onto the server since he hadn't returned, I decided to tear, tear that building down. I made this potion shop and I had an amazing idea. <clears throat> At least what I thought was an amazing idea. I built this area here as a pen for boars and whatever other animals I, you know, decided to tame. Because I figured, you know, it'd be in the grass. It's a little bit larger. It'd probably be easier to get animals in these double doors out here. Like, there's a boar over there. That'd be pretty easy to bring in here and eventually tame. The problem is graylings keep fucking spawning in here. So, yeah, look at this. Animals are spawning in here. Wait, where's, um... Where's Frederick? Oh, my God. Fucking graylings spawn in here, too. And a deer. Which means... Thomas is dead. Where the fuck is Thomas? I had just tamed him. Oh my god, this sucks. Why are you guys spawning in here? Ah, son of a bitch. See that torch that's off right there? I have a ward right there. I thought maybe that would deter mobs from spawning. 
but no, it didn't. So I had three different boar that I tamed. The second one I named Frederick, and then I named one Thomas, and the other one I hadn't even got to name him yet before Grayling spawned in here and fucking killed him. So I don't know what to do. Maybe somebody knows uh, how to keep mobs from, you know, spawning in areas. Maybe I need to build it closer. Um, and then this guy, this fucking one-star deer. Um, I guess he's mine now. All right, so now let's go to my favorite place to go hunting and killing and uh, foraging for uh, entrails and blood bags and uh, deer meat and leather skin and all that good stuff. This area over here, I've shown it before, but I'm going to show it again because it's my favorite area. The swamp biome skirts along the coast right here and all along this water is swamp. So all these mobs come over. They battle it out with all the mobs from the meadows. And in turn, I get to pick up all of the dead parts and viscera for the liking. Hey, let's deal with this fucker real quick. There's almost always some, uh, some Draugr archers out here, so I want to draw their attention. Get them to shoot at me and, uh, see if the stagger effect is back. I believe it is. It, they said it is, so it is, but... I miss it. I know it makes no sense. They know it makes no sense, but people wanted it back in the game, so they brought it back in the game. People have asked, how come I don't have an iron mace? I don't have a very good reason. The only reason I don't have it is because I don't want it. I like the sword, so I choose the sword. I prefer the slash damage. I know it would have been easier to fight the bone mass and there's some enemies that are very weak against blunt damage, but I like the sword. I'm sticking with the sword. Eventually when I get 40 pieces of silver, I'm going to make the silver sword and that's just the way it's going to be. Come on, give me an archer, somebody, anybody. But why don't we activate this thing? Actually, I haven't even used this before. You can sense hidden objects. Cool. So we'll leave that thing on and see if we can do anything with that. You don't have a bow either, do you? God damn it. Any other time, I'd be taking arrows up the ass constantly from all sorts of people. But now that I want to test some shit out. Does he have a bow? Of course not. I guess we could put our light on. I started to make a little bridge here and never actually completed it. Shit was getting cray. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Any of you archers? No? Yes. We have an archer. Yes, it's back. Die. Oh, fuck. I missed. Bam. Confirmed. Where the fuck did this guy come from? See, it's back. Yes. All right, guys, so that's all I really got for this one. I was just really excited about the Jacko turnips. Wanted to show a couple things as far as progression, uh, you know, in this current world that I'm playing and I'll show a couple changes and things that are going on in the village that I'm slowly working on and also to ask for help. If you know of a way to keep the graylings and uh, mobs from spawning inside of my boar containment area, somebody let me know. Uh, my assumption is I probably got to make it closer to uh, an established bed or something like that. Uh, kind of like like it's like seven days to die works where you have the, you know, no spawning around your your home area. But anyways, thanks for watching. Go out there, download, uh, you know, get the patch, play the game, make some jacko turnips. Have fun. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.